Crash Raider here again with another how to, and this is how to fake. Uh, there's a few different ways to fake it. Uh, depends if you have a cassette or a free coaster. A cassette, when you're rolling backwards, your cranks move backwards also. On a free coaster, when it rolls backwards, uh, the crank, they won't go backwards. This is probably going to be one of the first tricks that you're learning, so don't get, don't really get frustrated if you can't get it right away. It took me literally over a year to get fakies. Some of my friends, it took like maybe two weeks. There's a few different things that you can do fakies off of. You can do it off of a wall or like a box or something. Uh, I prefer on like a bank or a porter or something. A slope of some kind. This right here is a quarter. Uh, this is what I prefer to do fakies on. It's a lot easier for me. You can just roll up and then pull out of it. But the first thing that you want to worry about is the, your cranks coming backwards with you while you're rolling backwards. You want to move your cranks faster than you're going backwards so they don't lock up and slow you down. You don't want to worry about the rollout just yet. What you want to do is go up at a, like a slow speed, like mediocre speed and just roll backwards. Try this a couple times. I'm going to show you. You're going to want to do this until you feel comfortable rolling backwards. Rolling out, you're going to have to put pedal pressure on your front foot, whether it's your right foot or your left foot, and then turn whichever way you're comfortable out of it while applying pressure to your pedal. What I'm going to show you right now is just like the relative motion of what the turnout should be looking like and I'm going to show you how your front foot should lock up. I'm just going to take my left foot off for now and show you guys how it's supposed to relatively look like. The whole thing with pedal pressure is the more pedal pressure that you apply the higher front, your front end is going to turn up. Just like when you do catwalks, the more pressure you put on, the higher your front end is going to look. You're going to have to turn your head. You're going to have to turn your bars also, all while applying pedal pressure. So you're going to want to keep doing this. Just keep practicing. You'll get it eventually. Like I said, it took me forever to get one of these. Um, right now, I'm just going to show you guys a couple, like on a few different obstacles, show you what it's supposed to look like. Like I said earlier in the video, you're going to be able to do it out of like a box or a wall of some sort. And I'm going to show you what, what that looks like. Alright, so John did a good job explaining how to do fakies on a cassette. It's a little different for a free coaster. But you shouldn't be riding a free coaster unless you've ridden a cassette. Don't go out and buy a free coaster when you've just started if you don't have fakies. But it's basically the same motion. The only thing is, is you don't get that pedal pressure. So when you come around, you can't rely on any pedal pressure to lift your front end up. So it's all in your upper body. So when you come up to it, you roll up and you come back and your cranks aren't going to move at all. But what you're going to want to do is take this car when you're first learning it, get it about 45 degrees, and then pull up, turn your bars the other way, and spin out of it. That works for a cassette one too if you don't want to use pedal pressure, but I'll do one for you right here. Another thing is a half cab. Once you have those down, I mean, John basically explained everything you need to know. And a half cab is a little bit different though. With this, you want to have bunny hops decent. Make sure that you have bunny hops that are like this and not like this because it's going to help a lot. So what you're going to do with this is you want to come back. It's easier on a cassette to get the pedal pressure, like I said earlier, but I feel like it's easier on this because you don't have to worry about backpedaling so much. Your feet are already aligned where they're supposed to be. So when you come back, you're going to do this carve a little bit, and when you do this turn, lift it up a lot higher than you would on your normal turn, and then push your bars forward, which will straighten out the back end, and make sure you tuck your back end up like you're doing a bunny hop. I'll do it real quick. Now 
now once you have fakies down, you can incorporate them into all different tricks. Fakie is a fun trick to roll backwards, but there are consequences of doing fakies. Obviously, you're rolling backwards, it's a little bit dangerous, so make sure you're always wearing your, your safety gear. But yeah, so we'll get some clips and other tricks that fakies are involved in.